Good morning, Gary, Michael, Katie. Thank you for inviting me here. Um, so my name is Jennifer Miller. Uh, I'm the general manager for Clarence uh, Workplaces for Professionals. We are um, a solicitor's chambers, serviced office, and virtual virtual office. Sorry. We currently have 145 solicitors in our solicitors' chambers and 15 barristers. And um, we have six floors across two cities, Sydney and Brisbane, and we're actively looking for another floor in Sydney. Um, our solicitors' chambers is the largest in Australia. Uh, we've been in operation for over 20 years. Clarence was founded by David Beatty, who was a partner at Cause, and he wanted to um, leave that and become a sole practitioner. So he banded together with another partner who wanted to leave that law firm and two other professionals. Um, and they set up Clarence. He sold the company a couple of years ago. Um, and since I started three years ago, um, we have now have, uh, we started, when I started three years ago, we had 40 solicitors. Now we've got 140 solicitors in our chambers. So the chambers has grown quite a lot. Um, there's many advantages to the chambers. And one of the things that, one of the reasons why I think it has been successful is if you look at the statistics um, or what I read and what I learn is that 80% of um, the legal practitioners are sole practitioners, which is an amazing, staggering number, because I would have thought that um, when I think of legal practitioners, uh, I think of partners in large law firms and not being sole practitioners. Um, but in, in terms of our chambers, there's sort of five main advantages. Um, and if I could categorise those for you to make them simple, um, there's also the, there's obviously the financial benefits, there's the network, there's credibility, um, and there's flexibility and resources. Um, so with regard to the network, for a solicitor or a sole practitioner joining the chambers, it's much better for them to um, do that as opposed to work in isolation or work in alone, work alone. Um, with being with other sole practitioners, they can bounce ideas off each other. They can have informal sharing of precedent. Um, they can also take a holiday because they can refer a matter to a trusted colleague. Um, and they can benefit from and give referrals. Uh, we have uh, th over 300 um, businesses that are part of our, were part of Clarence, so half of those are legal practitioners. Um, so they can benefit, they can get referrals from other industries like you know, the financial industry. Um, there's flexibility, of course, uh, because solicitors can join us and they can just take an office for a month. They don't have to sign a lease for three to five years. So they can just go on a month by month arrangement and they can upsize or downsize as they need to. Um, and with regard to financial, um, we have a whole suite of benefits for our clients or benefits of legal, legal benefits for them. So we, can, we subsidise a lot of these um, legal services that they need or we provide them at affordable cost. Um, to, to name a few CLE seminars, um, we provide that to our members for 300 for the year um, as opposed to sort of industry standard which might be 300 a pop. Um, we have DX document exchange that's provided a fraction of the cost. Um, we have a partnership with LEAP where they have a 50% um, rebate for the implementation and we have quarterly training sessions for them. Um, and we have LexisNexis um, and the LexisNexis product that we have is quite unique. We've had it uh, for over 12 years. It's the whole Butterworths package. Um, most of our sole practitioners are generalists so that they do need to have access to sort of all, all areas. Um, and I've been told if they could have this package themselves, it would be sort of 20,000 upfront for the year. Um, whereas they can just uh, have that through Clarence for 390 per month. And we're constantly seeking sort of um, new partners so that we can add to that suite of benefits. Um, flexibility, I sort of mentioned that, sorry. Um, resources, we do provide a full team for our members. Um, they have admin support, um, on-site IT support, accounting support. Actually, um, one of my members uh, walked into my office yesterday to give me some feedback, which is always a little bit daunting. I braced myself just in case it was uh, negative, but he had mentioned that he just won a new client um, 
and they had made three phone calls to three different law firms. Um, and the third call they made was to, to him and they reached the Clarence receptionist um, who answered the call and the matter was a sensitive, of a sensitive nature and she handled that with compassion and professionalism um, and he hung up the phone, the caller, and he called the other two law firms and he told them he found his lawyer, um, he won't be using them. And he hadn't even spoken to the lawyer yet, you know, he'd just spoken to the receptionist. And that's not just a cute story about um, professional telephone answering, but the point is that he doesn't have to pay for her salary, so he saves on that 5000 per month. He just pays a couple of hundred for the telephone connection. Um, so with credibility. Um, you know, many of our, our lawyers might sort of choose to uh, work from a home office or work from a country office and while Bowel might be a nice place to live, it probably doesn't look that great on your website or marketing materials and if you're looking for um, you know, a corporate CBD client, if they see that country address uh, they may of course question availability or professionalism. Um, so we provide virtual services and other companies like ourselves that provide that. That's a good option for country solicitors to be able to have that credible presence on their website and marketing materials. And also our latest floor that we opened uh, in Castlereagh, it's a $2 million fit out. Um, so that's a, you know, it's an impressive reception area for our clients' clients. And for a sole practitioner, that sort of atmosphere is hard for them to replicate on their own. So credibility is important and being part of the chambers can help with that. Um, so in conclusion, I'd like to say um, that uh, with today's theme of new ways of working and the Commission's um, initiative, which is fantastic, I see our, my role is not just you know, to make sure that the receptionist answers the calls well or the coffee machine works, but to uh, really look at sort of technology and innovation and how that affects our solicitors. You know, they're sort of notoriously bad at marketing as well, so how we can help them with that. Should we bring in speakers um, on how to optimise your LinkedIn profile. We give them a page on their website so that they can generate um, referrals. Um, we felicitated someone to fly in from um, Singapore, from Evernote, to talk about how to use a productivity app. So we do see that role as looking at sort of what, what does affect them, what legal services do they need, you know, what is blockchain, is that going to affect them, if it is, how do they need to prepare for it, um, will it even affect them within their lifespan or their career as a sole practitioner. Um, so our vision is to be known as the only place for a sole practitioner to be if they want to survive or thrive in this industry. And if we achieve that, then we've achieved our goals. Thank you. Thanks, Jennifer. Um, it sounds like you provide a, a service which really overcomes so many of the barriers that I think sole practitioners, I imagine, face when, when um, you know, heading into the world of technology and other things, which is great. Um, you talked a bit, of, uh, you mentioned a little bit about the virtual office. Could you talk about that a little bit more and explain, maybe give some examples of how that works? Sure. Um, so basically there's sort of five different services of a virtual office. Uh, and it starts from $100 per month and goes to about $300 per month, so it's very affordable. Um, we provide services of that credible address that I spoke about, but also professional telephone answering. So we can give um, a member a, a telephone, or they can buy the telephone. Um, they can put that in their home office. We can answer the calls in their company name, and then we can transfer through the PBX. Um, to their home and it, for the caller that's a better user experience and it sounds, it's seamless so it seems like they're right in the office next door. So that's going to help them of course win and maintain business. Mm -hmm. um, and then you know the sort of the final level of virtual services gives you everything but the office really. So they've got a place to meet with their clients in the city, they can have an office for a day, they've got that address, they've got that telephone. Um, and it's, it's interesting because the, the barrister market, um, we don't really market to that industry, but they seem to be finding us. Um, and it seems like it's right for disruption because they constantly walk in, they're looking for a different way of working, um, and they, they operate virtually. And of course, they're quite 
happy to work with 140 solicitors. So you're really bridging that um, the gap that people experience of, of working in remote locations. Yeah, yes. it's great. Yeah. Yes, definitely. So if you if you're a country lawyer, um, I, it seems to be a no-brainer that you would pay a couple hundred and have that virtual office for that CBD presence. You mentioned a figure of 300 businesses at Clarence. Yes. What did you mean by that? So in in general, we have like 300 clients that use Clarence. So half of them are um, in the legal field. And the other half? As in half those 300. So um, the other half that's not in the legal field, they're financial consultants, they're affiliated professionals. Okay, and with the uh, solicitors that um, are with you, what's the age profile? Um, well, so age profile and background. Yeah, so our typical client is, um, is a partner in a law firm and uh, they found that they, they actually earned more money before they became a partner and had equity and now they have to manage a team and they're ready for a change and they've got a good client base. So they would be normally between sort of 45 to 60 um, when they join us. Do they um, have the ability to employ staff like paralegals or, or young solicitors? Yes, yes they do. So they could actually grow their business mm -hmm. within Clarence? They could and some of them have grown from um, <coughs> one person to 15. 15? Mm -hmm. Okay. And are there any challenges um, that you're faced in managing a group of sole practitioners that large all under the one roof or most of them under the one roof? Um, I, I see a lot of opportunities. You know, it's exciting to be able to um, continually strive to add value to their business mm. and try and help solve some business problems for them. Um, but they don't, you know, while they may compete, uh, it's not really an issue. You know, they actually work well. You know, they all work independently, but they support each other. They do bounce ideas, refer matters to each other. Um, it's good. And with the news, we have had quite a few new younger solicitors um, you know, that are below that 45 year, year old years, and they join us, and we try and pair them up with a more senior solicitor, especially in the same area of law. Okay. Michael? Uh, I, I guess one of the things I, I was just thinking about is, um, so you, you, you do offer all of these services, um, but something like, say, um, conflicts of interest, conflict checking, um, confidentiality, that's something that would still retain, stay with the, the lawyer themselves. That's not something that um, you're, you would take responsibility for, is that? Right. Yes. They can concentrate on their, their work. We obviously don't get involved in that. Right. You know, we provide all the so support services so they can just concentrate on what they do best. Right. Can you just, just describe again the support services that you provide, including from the, um, the technology support as well? Sure. Um, so of course there's that suite of benefits, those legal benefits um, that we mentioned, like CLE seminars, DX, um, LEAP, LexisNexis and so on. But then we have admin support, so telephone answering, we have on-site IT professionals and we have accountants and bookkeepers. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, just, uh, I mean, one of the things that I guess, um, I guess the, the, um, the Commission's been interested in is the way in which um, uh, lawyers are able to sort of access um, education around things like technology. And so it sounds like um, with, with what you've got set up, that's sort of part of the package. And so one of the attractions would be that you not only get your, um, I guess, the assistance in terms of running your, your, your practice, but you're actually getting um, education on top of that to help you um, sort of embrace the changes that we're, we're looking at. Is that a fair yes, comment? Yes, exactly. So that's what I see our role as. Um, so to look at, they don't have time to look at these things, you know, what new app is going to make a difference to their daily life and be more productive. So um, that's what we need to do to help them do mm. that. So um, as much as we can and going forward, I hope we can, um, you know, utilise technology more to, put, to help them save money, save time, you know, add value. Right. Do you uh, provide assistance, uh, like 
paralegal resources or anything like that, maybe a pool from them to draw from, uh, similar to what Keith was talking about? We do. We have um, a legal secretary available and we have admin support and mm. we have paralegals um, that do join us. A lot of our solicitors have had the same paralegal for a while. A lot of them have been with us for over 20 years or over 12 years. Um, so they mm. have that support. Okay. But we do, absolutely. Mm. So anyone could, uh, any new client could just come in and tap into that now and then yes. when they need it? Yes, yeah. definitely. Okay. And what's the vision for the future? Um, to keep being relevant, you know, to really be able to provide an advantage so that, you know, as a sole practitioner says, well, I, um, I wouldn't be able to thrive or survive if I wasn't part of the Clarence Chambers or a Chambers similar, but uh, that's our goal.